with that follower. The past the weight, which we know the earth is always going to be here. The scripture says the earth will abide it forever. Right? There was no more sea. Right? John saw the whole sea. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord, should not prevent from which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven, and they shall, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead of the Mashiach shall rise first, brothers who died from the truth. I 
and it saw another angel sent from the east. Man, so Jerusalem is also 
meaning of the word comes from no, and it's right around the corner. Right? After the next eight event, we're going to be out here going crazy. But the scripture says what? Take a Timothy chapter 2 verse 10. Paul said what? Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake. So we endure all things. Right? One of the perils we're going through in our personal life. They come out here, we got battle with elements. See what I'm saying? Whatever, man. Except for 2 Timothy 2 and 10. I endure all things for the elect. It's all about the elect, not the nation. And that's another thing. Alright? Who's teaching is all about is all Israel. It's not about all Israel, man. It's about the elect of the children of Israel. It was always about the elect. All Israel will be okay in the kingdom, man. As it is written, all Israel shall be saved in the kingdom, man. But right now it's only about the most high's elect. The Israel of the most high. Size only looking for that long um, food, meat for repentance. Okay, and that's the Lord's blood only covering those Israelites on this side. And of course, all nations will be when they come to the elect, gonna be covered. Man, never read on this. It says. Therefore I do all things for the sake of it, that they also may see the salvation. And how is Shai Mashiach the eternal glory and the devil? Without end. Okay? Everlasting, man. Okay? We gotta really concentrate on the words, man. Your glory is gonna be everlasting, age to age to age to age. Okay, you're gonna be known forever, man, if you're part of the Heavenly Father's elect. With Floyd Mayweather got these other uh, these celebrities that the most high bring it down, that's an incorruptible crown. Okay? Like the Apostle Paul said, let me get that first Corinthians 9 16.
this. But though I be free from all men, yet I made myself a servant unto all, and that's us, man. that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews, I became as a Jew, yeah, because the Jews knew better. So he approached the Jews a certain way, that I might gain the Jews, to them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law, to them that are without the law, as without the law, being not without the law to the Most High, but under the law of the Mashiach, that I might gain them that are without. To the weak became I weak, that I might gain the weak. I made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you, man. Read on down. So we became all things unto all men, that we might save some. Okay? And that's why the most I got us out here, man. To gather the lost sheep. Right? And every man that's striving for the mastery is temperate in all things, man. So it means you're moderate, man. It says, now they do to obtain a corruptible crown. These athletes. You know what I'm saying? Like they stop drinking or eat certain foods. Or they, they don't have, um, indulge in any sexual intercourse during the time of their competitions but that's for incorruptible crown alright we're doing it for what? we're going to be Certainly. So I fight not as one that beateth the air, shadow box. But I kept under my body, and this will be all doing. And bring it into subjection. As by any means, when I preach to others, I myself should be a castaway. So we don't want to be castaways, man. Right? We have to come all things unto all men. That we might save some. Right? All glory to the most high. Right, that's your reasonable service. Okay? Every Israelite man is supposed to be a prophet and priest to Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. But of course, like I said, there's only the elect on this side. Only the elect. Right? We know that the elect is gathering day in and day out. This truth is spreading. They keep coming out. Alright? The temple is being rebuilt. And the temple is what? Is this men? We get that in the book of Second Samuel. Woo.
and I shall light a candle of understanding. So that's what that light is. And wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We mean enlightened or educated action because it was already in us. In thine heart, your mind, which shall not be put out till the things be performed which thou shalt begin to write. And when thou hast done some, some things thou shalt publish, which we have on the books now, and some things thou shalt show secretly to the wise, tomorrow this hour shalt thou begin to write. Then when I when I forth and commanded and gathered all the people together and said, Hear these words, O Israel. Okay. You read on down. He said, Hear these words, O Israel. It's all about the Israelites. They never change. Our fathers at the beginning were strangers in Egypt, from whence they were delivered and received the law of life, which they kept not. That's what we call the enslaved, which they also transgressed after them. There was the land given, the land of Zion parted among them. I thought by lot, but your fathers, the land was divided into four parts. It says, but your fathers and ye yourselves have done for righteousness, and have not kept the ways which the highest commanded. And for as much as he is a righteous judge, who took from you in time the thing that he may have given you. And now ye are here, and your brethren are you. Therefore, if it so be that he will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts, okay? Change for the better your mind. He shall be kept alive, and after death, he shall obtain mercy. Alright? So the elect are going to come back at this same time and fulfill their lot. And your brothers and sisters that died for this truth, you're going to get risen up anyway. Because if you believe in Yahweh Shah, there's no such thing as death. You see? So like Paul said, you know, just bring out some brief bricks on that. And answer that uh, question from the brother, the New Jerusalem is what? A 144. Right? About 144,000, and that's it. Okay? Oh, well, then I'm a part of that, man. That's that new temple that's being built. Matter of fact, let me get first Corinthians 3 and 7. chapter 3 verse 7 so then now to see that planted anything now to see that water but the most high giveth the increase the heavenly father increases it all right now he that planted and he that watereth are one and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor that's what we tell us to get involved yeah you can't make it off another man's merit same way how the prophets digested the role and taught you got to do the same man And, no, verse 9. For we are laborers together with the Most High. We are the Most High's husband, husbandry, farmers of the planet that seed. We are the Most High's building. He means you. Okay? Alright? This is the third temple being built. A spiritual temple. According to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation another build it there on. Let every man take heed when he build it there upon. Okay? That's why verse 16 says, Know 
we not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High will it be you? So where the temple, man? This is a spiritual temple. So you got people going to these churches. They don't know that the church is a people before it's a place. The New Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, man. Okay, this is all spiritual. Hold on one second. Let me um. Put up the signs real quick. Real, real quick. Put up the signs. temple being built, man. Right? Not physical, man. Right? So, the new Jerusalem, that new temple, is what? The elect. That's why the scripture says, Revelation 21 and 3, the tabernacle of the Most High, the house of the Most High, is with me, man. Okay? And he shall go with them, man. Okay? Matter of fact, let me see you. Revelation 21 again, real quick. shall there be any more pain when the former things are passed away also what's passed away says verse 22 and I saw no temple therein for the Lord power almighty and the lamb of the temple of them. see there ain't gonna be no more temple physical temple man. all right how you doing all right good good yeah the Most High and His Son gonna be there, man. We actually gonna dwell with the Most High and His Son, man. We gonna have access to the spiritual realm, but Yahweh Shai gonna be in the kingdom right there. That's why Israel never gonna go off, man. Cause these Son of the Most High gonna be present, and we gonna have the new laws in our inward part. See? 
the new uh, statutes and commandments and I will enter upon them. See? All glory to the most high, that new couple. That's what the scripture says. We get um uh, all prophecy, second Samuel the seventh chapter. Samuel chapter 7 How about you now, Shot? Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 1. And it came to pass. Because David wanted to um, construct the temple, but it wasn't his job to do that. It was his son Solomon. Right? Which that goes to some deep as well. And it came to pass when the king sat in his house, and Yahweh Shimei Al Shah had given him rest round about from all his enemies. And the king said unto Nathan, the prophet, See now I dwell in a house of Sidon, but the ark of the Most High dwelleth within curtains. And you had that other idiot earlier talking about the ark of the covenant in Ethiopia. Some to that effect, man. It's an idiot, man. The ark of the covenant is hidden, man. Anybody that's outside of a certain bloodline that touched the ark of the covenant will get put to death, man. All right. Says, uh, let me read on. So then, but your lies, the Ethiopians have got no Ark of the Covenant. Are you crazy, man? Yeah, right? It says, um, that was hidden through the time of Jeremiah. That's in the book of 2nd Maccabees. It says, uh, let me get on. And that the king said to Nathan, no, 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 let's read on. Whereas I have not dwelt in any house since the time I brought up the children of Israel out of Egypt, even to this day. But I've walked in the tent and in a tabernacle. And in all places wherein I have walked with all the children of Israel speak. I a word with any of the tribes of Israel whom I commanded to feed my people Israel, saying, Why build, why build ye not a house of Siddur? Now therefore thou shalt say unto my servant David, to the Most High speaking to Nathan in a dream. Thus saith Yahweh Shimei Al Shah of I took thee from the sheep coat, from following the sheep to be ruler over my people over Israel. And I was with thee whatsoever thou wentest, and I've cut off all thy enemies out of thy sight, and made thee a great name, like unto the name of 